Hey there, it's Rich again with Newbie Prepping. Uh, I'm here doing the uh, uh, promised uh, survival shelter build. Uh, it's just going to be a nice and simple uh, survival shelter. Um, the idea of it is that uh, even though I'm in a forest that uh, has uh, clearly seen a lot of rain, um, so a lot of the wood here might not be suitable for a long time because it might be rotten inside, uh, wouldn't matter too much uh, because it's only a temporary shelter. It's like if there was something going on where I just needed to bug out uh, for the first 72 hours, uh, exactly the sort of idea a bug out bag is for, uh, a 72 hour survival bag is for. Uh, so here we go, hopefully it goes well. So as we can see here, a lot of already fallen down trees. Um, could be adv advantageous for me, uh, could be disadvantageous for me uh, based on the quality of the wood and if it's soaking wet on the inside, but let's give it a try. I think we might have found a contender here. This log is freaking perfect. Don't know if you can see that, but it's beautiful on the inside. <laughs> Looks like I know I'm not going to be resting it against that. Yes, I don't know if you can see it all the way here, but uh, we have here a nice good, nice big long log uh, to use. I could uh, lean this up against a tree, um, not lean it, uh, like actually uh, tie it to it. But yeah, this would be a lovely basis uh, to uh, put um, sticks and uh, other logs up against it. Uh, of course, it's not going to be this high. Uh, it's going to be nice and low down. Um, just to uh, uh, make it look a bit more flush with the environment. Um, because if I'm bugging out, then chances are that uh, I would want to uh, remain a bit more incognito. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to decide where to put this bad boy. Uh, just looking for some decent ground here, and uh, I found my uh, uh, fire starting point again. Um, not sure if I'll use... Uh, uh, well, this seems to be like the cleanest sort of area around, although um, it's a bit bumpy here, so I might just continue on down here a little bit. Uh, here's the uh, stump where I cut uh, my wood in... Um, my uh, third uh, fire making video. Oh god, <laughs> I don't see any problem transporting logs here. Getting caught on everything. Okay, so maybe around here. The floor seems alright. Um, flat enough. Uh, I think I would want to go for, like, want to uh, resting it against one of these trees. Um, definitely still alive and big and strong. Uh, so yeah, this ground, yeah, I think this seems ideal here. Uh, let me just check around to see if there's any holes poking out. Oh, see, this is the problem. This is the problem with uh, uh, this area of the forest. Um, as you, you might be, not be able to tell, but it's, uh, it is actually going downhill as well, which would be good for uh, rainwater. I uh, wouldn't be getting clogged with rain. But yeah, um, animal burrows. Um, 
good for uh, uh, catching wildlife, I guess, but um, uh, I guess uh, not very good um, to be camped directly outside of them because uh, it's not like the animals would ever come back. So, yeah, uh, potential food source, uh, not great. Um, there are more uh, animal burrows up there. Um, so there, there is a lot of wildlife in this forest. So, I mean, it might still be okay uh, to come here. Okay, so uh, that log, what I'm gonna do is gonna put uh, some supporting sticks all the way up the log. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to put some like uh, the uh, small, like uh, spindly little uh, bits like this. Uh, uh, add them uh, on uh, on top of the uh, stick, uh, supporting sticks uh, as like insulation. And then eventually, um, I'm going to uh, get some of the moss that's on the ground and uh, stick it onto uh, the outside of the shelter. Uh, just to give it that like extra heat insulation like uh, and extra wind protection um, Yeah, uh, I think it should go pretty well the uh, rotten sticks off of there. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a bit annoying that um, they just came off so easily. Uh, but uh, what it's resting on at the moment actually does seem a bit sturdy. Uh, but the good thing is about having it this low down uh, is that even if it does fall off somehow, uh, then uh, at least um, not too much stuff is going to come tumbling down on me. And uh, I think I can fit underneath it. Let's give it a go. So there we go, um, I can fit underneath it, all uh, six foot four of me. Um, it's actually quite comfortable under uh, underneath as well. Uh, nice and the uh, softness of the ground uh, makes it quite nice and uh, padded. Um, it should be good uh, to have like the ground sheet on the bottom uh, and uh, my uh, thermal like uh, sleeping mat. Uh, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna continue on with this. That's nice, uh, nature has uh, uh, granted me with uh, some sticks here that already seem long enough. Uh, so if there's one thing uh, that I've learned uh, so far is uh, uh, it's going to take an awful lot of uh, sticks uh, to actually uh, make this thing. Uh, I'm not sure how clear it is on the video. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, I shall come back to you after I've gathered more. Okay, so uh, I went and just uh, sawed this, um, another dead one. Uh, but underneath, uh, very wet, uh, underneath the log, you can see here, it's uh, dry up here, and then very wet under there. Uh, would not be good uh, for my straight log going all the way down, uh, but it might just be good if I cut it up and uh, use it as uh, support against uh, here. Worth a try. I dug that one there slightly into the ground there so that um, it's got at least some support from the wind though I'm not really worried about wind here because um, the density of the forest is quite thick. Yeah a few more sticks and then I'm going to cover it up with like smaller sticks and then try and get some of this moss off the ground and uh, cover it with that and then I'll start on the other side. Okay so uh, I've skipped ahead a little bit 
uh, and I've got a, another log over there that I've sawn um, and taken off for the other side. Yes, I am cheating a little bit going ahead uh, and I spotted this other log here that I wanted and then I saw this here and just show you how high that goes up. Yep, uh, all the way up there. Yeah, of course, uh, I don't know how stable that would be. That looks like a widow maker in the making. Anyway, uh, so this is the log over here that I was referring to. And I'm gonna chop it up and uh, use it for my shelter. This is probably the thickest wood I've ever cut through. So let's see how it goes. Okay, there we are, all ready. So, bottom of the wood is a little bit wet, but uh, the majority of it is fine. Uh, so yeah, should do rather nicely. Just gonna prune it up here. Oh. Well, this thing has definitely done its job. Right, I'm thinking of having that as the entrance. You see that there? Maybe I should. Maybe I should have it something like this. Like hanging up on the other side here. So, yeah, having it... So starting from there and going up here, onto that other tree there, and then I would have... Where is it? Some... Oh! Some wood going like that, like that, and uh, be something I could actually sit up in then, hmm, worth thinking about. Tying this off here wouldn't be too difficult with the uh, twine I've got, yeah something like this. I could use the new log that I've got as well, um, as uh, the, yeah, uh, in fact I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay, so a better way to show it off to you would probably be to walk you around it. So we've got that in there. This marks the entrance here. And then we've got this big one de going down here and across there. So it leaves it with like a triangular top. So I'd need sticks like these ones to rest on uh, this one here. just along the side there. And then I would need sticks going across the top, uh, which would mean I'd have to find uh, long enough logs like this uh, to go all the way along, which might be difficult, but it's fine. Um, I've only been out here for about maybe an hour now, and uh, I've got all of this done. So let's see what happens after two hours.
So under here I'm going to have to make a really stable base. Um, <coughs> uh, specifically right down here. Uh, because there's quite a significant gap to a little uh, drop that you can't really see. So just got a pile it full of sticks there. The good thing about these sticks being uh, upright like this, uh, leaning against the log, uh, means that uh, they will actually dry out because the moisture will fall through the wood, um, making them a little bit stronger, uh, not as mushy, I guess. It seems to be doing well holding this up, uh, so I'm just going to keep going until I get to the end here. This is going to be the most difficult part here because, again, there's a little drop down here. Let me show you. Okay, so there's the end part there. And uh, as you can see, it drops down quite a bit. Let me just show you what it's like on the other side. Yeah, it's starting to take form a little bit there. It shouldn't be too difficult doing the other side as uh, there's not as much area to cover. Um, from the log there to the ground. So yeah, should be all good. Uh, so we've got a few dead standing trees around me. I should probably have checked that uh, beforehand. Uh, what I've just done is I've booted this one down, uh, but it's stuck up on there on those trees, and uh, there's another one. Uh, just here uh, that I've uh, booted down as well um, uh, just to make sure that they don't land on me they were already very dead as you can tell by the uh, stump that they've left um, I'm worried about this one here as it is already kind of fallen um, maybe I'll try and uh, just uh, attack attack uh, this Definitely dead standing, but uh, it was uh, very much still clinging on for dear life. Um, there was uh, some uh, relatively strong bits in there, but I could probably harvest that for my shelter, so that's all good. I'm going to prop that up and uh, uh, so let any moisture fall down it, and uh, yeah, so just to make sure it's uh, the best that it can be.
So, that's this one side done here. Just going to take you around and show you a bit more here. Okay. And as you can see, we're at the back of the triangle here. And that's the inside there. I see two of the logs have fallen, but I'll just put them back on the outside. Okay, uh, so uh, I'm going to call it here uh, for today. Um, I've been at this for two and three quarter hours now. Um, and uh, quite frankly, if I had uh, the whole day and even a night uh, doing an overnighter, I think I could get it done quite easily. Uh, however, I do have work to do. Um, uh, I, I actually work during the week. Uh, I wish that my job could be to come out and uh, build shelters uh, like someone like TA Outdoors, but alas, it's not. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to come back uh, uh, tomorrow, maybe the next day. Hopefully that's all it will take to finish it. Um, and then I'm going to tally up the amount of time that it's uh, actually taken me to do it. Um, so obviously this is two and three quarter hours. Um, and then uh, we'll see how long it takes uh, the, uh, uh, the other side of the uh, shelter and the top of the shelter. Uh, I will say this though, um, this would work great as just like a windbreak, uh, so like, um, I mean two and three quarter hours, uh, uh, obviously I'm a newbie uh, and uh, I've learned things along the way, I've picked up stuff, uh, I know a bit more of what I'm doing, I'm sure I could cut that time at least in half, um, but yeah this would be a good windbreak uh, uh, to use with my gear. Like I said way back in the video, we don't really get much uh, wind uh, in this part of the forest because it's quite dense. But that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I mean, uh, there's a lot of knocked over trees that will attest to that. Um, so yeah, I think uh, that this would be quite good. I uh, just could have my tarp at the bottom here and then be in my sleeping bag and it would just be perfect. Um, yeah, uh, but we'll see that uh, later on in the video. Uh, right now, um, this is the end of day one and we're going to go into day two right now. And we're on day two now. Um, sorry, uh, I'm going to be holding my camera uh, with my hand now uh, because <coughs> just setting up for this shot, I managed to break my bloody tripod. What a cheap piece of crap this was. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, so uh, it's been a couple of days since I was last here uh, because I wasn't able to just come out the day after. Uh, so I'm very happy to see that the shelter is still up, completely undamaged. Um, so yeah, uh, let's not dawdle, let's uh, just get straight back into it. Here's one of the ones I made earlier. I'm uh, gonna cut this down now. Um, and uh, cut it to size and uh, put it up against my shelter here.
sawing it some other way and then breaking it off uh, can actually be quite helpful uh, in the way that um, uh, it creates like a, a little bit of a spike at the end um, so it would be helpful for digging it into the ground Alright, so that's all of the supporting sticks on. I'm going to start putting on the uh, spindly sticks now as insulation, and then I'll uh, probably even start working on the moss before uh, uh, working on the roof. Well, since I'm quite nervous about the roof, because if I screw that up, then obviously it's all going to come tumbling down on me. So, here we go. Okay, so, here it is. I'm sure it just looks like a big bundle of sticks, which uh, I guess is exactly what it is. Whew. That didn't take too long, about 20 minutes or so of uh, just uh, constant gathering. I'll show you from the front. Oh, sun's just peeking through there. Makes a nice change from the uh, from the cold. All right, so here we are. That's what we got so far. Just sitting down, having a little bit of a rest here. Um, yeah, uh, just thinking about what to do next. Um, uh, I think it's just putting the moss on now uh, for the final insulation of the outside of it, uh, the final barrier. Um, yeah, I want to do that before putting on the ceiling, like I said before, uh, just because it's scary. Yeah, I've never done it before. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, should be fun though. I've already spotted a few um, uh, areas that I'm going to harvest first uh, for the uh, moss and uh, well, we'll just uh, see how it goes. Um, yeah, um, for the ceiling, I don't know if I'm going to put on like a tarp or something um, because I know that some bushcrafters uh, on their sh uh, ceilings of their shelters, they put like a tarp, uh, which is like a, a final layer of protection. Um, uh, from the rain. Um, I think it would be a good idea to do it. So I might just do it. Who knows? <laughs> uh, right. It's going to be my first time ever using this thing. Um, those who uh, have been with the channel or uh, uh, maybe just uh, even new viewers who uh, might have, have a looked at some of the videos on the channel. Um, would we'll probably recognize this thing from my uh, bug out bag video. It's not massively strong uh, by the looks of it. 
uh, I imagine any sort of heavy work and uh, this here might bend rather easily um, but uh, I'm going to give it a go anyway I did get it from Wish so I'm not uh, holding out too much hope uh, just uh, tightening this on here uh, yeah uh, it's got a little bit of give but um, that's okay right let's give this a go I'll tell you what, the uh, serrated edge part of the, this uh, shovel is coming in very handy. A nice big bit there, like a carpet. Roots, bloody roots. There we are, another one there. Oh. <laughs> 
wondering when that was going to fall out of my hand. Whoa. All right. So that's what I got so far, though. I must say, this thing has actually been amazing. It's been a massive help. Um, uh, honestly, I've been looking uh, on Amazon for like uh, a more stronger, more stronger, uh, a stronger and uh, like sturdier, um, like survival shovel. But honestly, this thing has been amazing. The serrated edge there has been just so good at like cutting through the ground. Um, the bottle opener, of course, is absolutely useless because why the hell would you have beer in a survival situation? It's beyond me why they keep putting bottle openers on things. It doesn't matter anyway. The shovel, like, look at it. Look how thin it is. It's been amazing. I mean, sure, I've only just been, like, uh, scalping the land a little bit. Uh, not exactly been doing any massive, uh, you know, excavation. But, uh, yeah, super happy with this. Okay, that's going to be the end of day two here. Um, I've been here now for about uh, two more hours. Uh, actually, no, it's another two and a half hours. Uh, so let's say about five hours and 15 minutes total. Uh, here is what I've got now. As you can see, I've got the uh, moss um, covering almost all of the bottom there. Uh, and almost all of this side here. Just bring you around. Yeah, so that's almost all covered up there. And uh, I did start on this side as well. There we are. You can barely even see where the bottom, where the ground actually begins. Although uh, this will slowly become ground itself. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Um, like I said, going to be the end of day two now. Uh, I look forward to coming back and uh, finishing this off. Uh, it should be pretty fun. Uh, especially trying to get that ceiling done. Okay. And I'm going to sign off for now. Bye-bye. And here we are for day three, and oh my god, is it a cold one. It is absolutely freezing today. I did notice that the uh, frost and the cold from outside didn't actually manage to creep in all the way to the forest, uh, but that doesn't mean that the air isn't cold out here, because goddamn. Anyway, enough about the temperature. Um, I'm here, uh, gonna be finishing off the moss on the sides of the shelter, and uh, gonna be looking for, uh, depending on how long I can stand it, uh, going to be looking for uh, uh, materials that can go on the roof. So, up there, along to there, yeah. Uh, should be fun. I'm um, going to try and make this the last day. If not, I might even extend it by another day. Oh my god, we'll see how long it takes. Let's see how long it takes. Obviously, you might know how long it takes, sir, because of the length of video, but at the moment, I don't know. Well, I didn't film uh, most of that uh, because uh, I just wanted to get on with the work and uh, uh, felt like uh, I didn't really need to film all of it. 
um, because it was essentially just doing the same thing. Uh, but here is the final result. So that side is finally completely finished. Um, I'll just show you the front here. Uh, this uh, this part here was uh, quite difficult because um, I had to make sure that I had uh, lighter um, pieces of moss because obviously that's almost vertical going up there. Um, now I also stuck some supporting sticks in there because I didn't want it, you know, uh, falling down. Uh, but yeah, I, I finished off uh, this part here as well. Now I'll just take you around the front here. Uh, yeah, so again, uh, this part, I uh, had to make sure that it was uh, well, uh, had a really good foundation, uh, and then used thinner stuff up here. I just want to say as well that um, uh, this is definitely a lot bigger uh, than what I initially planned um, for like an emergency survival shelter. Um, personally, I still think that uh, it would uh, be viable. Uh, like in an emergency like bug out situation um, but probably uh, I would probably do it on a smaller scale just to save energy like just conserve all the energy I could um, even just doing one side uh, I think would be uh, enough to protect you um, uh, especially if you've got your kit with you because if you've got your kit with you then this is just going to be a bonus because if you have a kit with you then I mean you could potentially camp anywhere but uh, yeah, um, with minimal kit, I think that this would be pretty good. Now I guess I gotta <laughs> bite the bullet and uh, start on the ceiling. So here it goes. Um, oh, uh, it's important to say as well that uh, finishing that off took about half an hour. So um, I think I'm gonna total up uh, the time uh, spent um, and display it on the screen because I personally can't remember how long it's been, uh, but I'll, f I'll, I'll figure it out in editing. It can hold my arm at least. Well guys, uh, I think I'm done uh, for today. Uh, I've only been out for another two hours. Um, uh, I've, uh, I've I haven't really had the energy uh, today, uh, the same energy that I had um, uh, the previous two days. Um, but uh, I still managed to get quite a few uh, logs onto here. Uh, they seem uh, quite stable as well. And next on the list would be to get the uh, small uh, spindly sticks on there. And then I'll start again with the uh, um, 
uh, scalping of the land. Uh, so in terms of like a, a super quick survival shelter, um, this isn't exactly the design that you would go for because it's taking a, a long time. But I do have a history of um, uh, wanting to skip ahead and uh, uh, learn all the hard stuff straight away, so I figured why not go for a, like a bigger shelter rather than a smaller one um, But yeah, uh, the same principle would apply um, just uh, uh, Yeah, making this side here um, uh, with the sporting sticks and then the small spindly sticks and then with the uh, um, With the moss on top of it. Um, it would still serve as like a, a good shelter um, maybe have uh, this stick here lower down, even lower than what it is at the moment on the tree and uh, having the uh, supporting sticks like uh, angled even further uh, just so like you're super low to the ground um, less materials needed uh, harder to be spotted you know, that sort of thing but no, um, uh, so th this, this video has definitely turned into more of like uh, a bushcraft survival shelter um, it could be considered like a semi-permanent bug out shelter as well, I think. Uh, in, th in fact, I think I might call the video that, like a semi-permanent bug out shelter. Um, but yeah, so, uh, there it is at the moment. Uh, we got all the moss on, um, and we started doing the sticks for the top. Uh, only two hours out here, but uh, that's alright. We'll tally up the time at the end. Okay, well, I'm going to sign off for day three now. Uh, it's taken a little bit longer than uh, what I initially planned, uh, but uh, I did make the project bigger for myself. Uh, but I'm having a lot of fun coming out. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess I shall uh, see you on day four in just a few seconds. All right, and we're here for day four. Um, again, it's a few more days uh, since I uh, came up here um, because uh, we had pretty much like a torrential storm come through. Um, uh, massive, massively fast winds, um, just uh, wasn't practical coming to the forest on that day. Loads of rainfall as well. Uh, I was really quite worried about my uh, shelter, but uh, it seems to have held up. Here we go. As you can see, it's held up real nicely. Uh, none of the logs have fallen down. Um, yeah, everything is still where it is, uh, where it should be. Uh, so I can continue on with work immediately. So I think that's what I'll do. Alright, let's get on with the show. Okay, well, uh, that's that all finished there. You may uh, spot some gaps or uh, holes uh, in it, but uh, I didn't want to put too much on uh, because there's a likelihood of it falling through, the, ga uh, the gaps in the support beams, especially at the top there. Um, but yeah, I think that that would do for insulation for the top there. Uh, now it's time for harvesting moss and uh, putting it on the top of the shelter. And then uh, that is the final step um, for the shelter being finished, so I'm very much looking forward to doing that. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, been a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but I'll be very glad to see it finished. <laughs> So the good thing about the heavy rainfall uh, means that hopefully the ground should be nice and easy to harvest because uh, it'll be nice and soft. Um, here's hoping.
the completed shelter. Whew. Took a while. As uh, I've said before, um, I definitely did a lot more than I initially um, planned to. Uh, so it did take a bit longer. But I still think it's good for bugging out um, as like a semi-permanent shelter. Even as like a uh, 72 hour shelter, uh, it might work uh, quite well as well. Uh, at least it'll keep your mind occupied um, while you're away those 72 hours waiting for whatever it is to blow over. Uh, if it's only something minor. What shit hit the fan situation uh, would be minor? Well, that's up for you to decide. Um, in total, I think, um, I'm going to tally it up and put it on the screen here. Um, but I think, uh, just off the top of my head, this took me, uh, without breaks, um, about six, maybe six and a half hours to do. Which uh, you might not think is uh, a short amount of time. You might think it's quite long, which it is. But uh, for a semi-permanent semi shelter, um, I think uh, that it's uh, quite decent, especially since it's got no door on the front of it. Uh, I might think about making a door at some point, but let's have a look inside. Can you see me? <laughs> you can see my face. Can't see my beard though, obviously. Yep, this would be quite good. Uh, fetal position here, uh, and I'm completely underneath the shelter. It's uh, blocked up um, almost completely. There are a few uh, openings. I'm not sure if you can see any uh, here, but uh, yeah, there, there's a few openings, but um, I mean, if it got really bad with rain, then I could just quickly go outside and patch it up. Right, uh, I don't know if this is going to look funny or not, because uh, I'm using the rear-facing camera so I can't see myself. Uh, but yeah, um, this is uh, what it looks like with me all the way at the end here. Uh, I don't want to put my head on the ground because I've got no uh, ground sheet. Uh, so I don't want to get my head covered in soil. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is what it's like. Uh, lit up. Um, can quite easily fit me. Um, maybe uh, space for uh, my bag and stuff up there. Um, and yeah, uh, like them, possibly even room for like another smaller person in here. Uh, because, like, if I slept right up against here, then the other person could sleep there. Uh, and yeah, just wouldn't be too bad. Um, I probably would say that this is still a one person shelter though. Uh, cause I do like to spread out. <laughs> Luxury, even in the forest. Uh, so yeah, anyway, my neck's starting to hurt, so I'm gonna get out of here now. Wow, you really could easily see the sweat on my face and in my beard then. Uh, I was going at it quite hard uh, towards the end there, uh, getting all of the uh, moss um, gathered up and uh, all of the sticks from before as well, because uh, I just wanted to get it done as quick as possible, uh, because um, uh, I did set myself like a sort of time limit after all. Um, not like a specific time limit, I just wanted to make it as quick as I could. So that's the shelter making video. How do you think it went? I think it went pretty well, uh, especially since I'm a newbie. Uh, it's managed to stay up, which uh, is always a good sign. Um, uh, it seems rather sturdy. Uh, it has uh, survived through uh, torrential rain, uh, survived through a lot of wind, uh, though I did say previously uh, in the video that uh, we wouldn't get that much wind out here, and I'm glad uh, that I was proved right. Um, uh, because we are quite high up in the mountains here. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, that's not to say, like, not to detract anything from uh, the build quality. Uh, even if I do say so myself, I think that um, I've done a pretty good job here. Um, obviously, like, it is semi-permanent, um, so, like, eventually the wood might uh, rot away. Um, like, it will become uh, fully... Uh, moist and wet on the inside of uh, the supporting logs and eventually, uh, especially with the moss uh, on top, um, eventually it will, like, pretty much dissolve. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, in terms of uh, semi-permanent, um, like, short-term slash mid-term shelter, uh, I think that this would do very nicely. Um, again, for, like, a, a quick emergency shelter, uh, which is kind of what I planned to do originally. Um, uh, like I said before, um, I would just do 
the one side uh, with like uh, all of the logs leaning, uh, having one uh, supporting log with um, uh, sticks basically going down it and then like uh, spindly sticks and then having the moss on it. Uh, so it's nice and low to the ground and um, uh, just wouldn't take nearly as much time as this. But no, I just uh, wanted to go all out with this one, even though it was my first go. Uh, you know, why the hell not? Why the hell not? So again, I've been Rich of Newbie Prepping. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.